everybody. We are greasing a couple of the fittings out on the front end of this tractor on the bucket here. It's been a while since they've been greased, so we're gonna see if they take grease, and if not, we're gonna show you how the pressure relief system in this l 351 works. So I've got one here locked on, and I can feel the pressure building. It's, it feels like it's not taking grease. So I'm going to do everything I can. We can build up to 10,000 PSI with this gun, but my arms can't really build 10,000 PSI. So I'll see how much I can get in there. I can't, can't get it to push through. So what I'm going to do is pull this all the way back like that. And you can see the hose get flexible. So all the back pressure in that hose is out. Now I can disconnect easily without wasting a drop of grease. All the back pressure in the system got drained right back into the cartridge. So we got off the fitting, and now I think we're gonna go get our grease buster tool and try to get that fitting to clear out and take some grease. Hey everybody, so we've been trying to grease the fittings on this bucket this morning, and they aren't taking any grease. It's been a while since they were greased, I think. So what we're gonna do is use our grease buster tool and uh, some of our crew oil penetrating oil to get in there and try to loosen up the clog so that it'll start taking grease. So first step is gonna to be to fill this up with penetrating oil. Uh, we use the croil, but you can use any solvent you have. Even if you got diesel, that should work. Um, you wanna fill it up to the top. So don't leave much air in there or else the piston, when you push it in, is gonna bounce back and forward as you tap it with a hammer. So I'll try not to spill here. Now when I seat the piston, see a little bit squirt out. So now we've got this full of solvent. We're gonna loosen up the coupler here. Once it's on the fitting, I'm gonna screw it tight so that that between the knurled ring and the fitting there is nice and tight. So we're on the fitting, it's not coming off. I'm going to grab my hammer here and I'm just going to tap it. I'm not trying to smash through the clog. I'm just trying to create enough pressure to force that in and enough vibration to try to work it into the clog. So you can see that the fittings clogged so clogged that it's it's pretty difficult to get this in. The piston's not going in. We're not getting a lot of the solvent in there. But what we're gonna do is keep working this for a little bit. And if it still doesn't take grease, we're just gonna leave this on here for a while, let the solvent work its way in, and in an hour or two, we'll come back and do this again. fitting here. We tried to grease it with our L&L 351. I would bet I was able to build about 8,000 pounds of pressure with it um, and just couldn't get it to take grease. So filled up our grease buster with solvent, got it to take all the solvent, and uh, now we've let it sit for maybe two, three minutes, and I'm going to put the grease gun back on it and see if we can't take it to take, uh, get it to take grease this time. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, like a dream. So that's great. So yeah, this is absolutely taking grease now. I can see it rushing out on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is just put a couple extra pumps in to really flush whatever solvent might be left in there out. And uh, there you have it. Yeah, it went from a fitting that would not take grease even at max pressure to one that just took it really nice and easy. We've got these bearings well greased now and they're uh, ready to go.